Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Surya Ganguly and Peter Svidla. This is the game from World Chess Team Championship that was played in China in 2011. And who is Surya Ganguly? He is the Grandmaster from India. He also served as a second to World Champion Vishanand in the Nan Kramnik World Championship match in 2008. In this game Surya Ganguly had white pieces and he started with e4. Peter Svidla played g6. d4. Bishop to g7. Knight to c3. d6. Svidla is playing Pirt's defense. Bishop to e3. A6, Queen to d2, preparing to cast the Queen side. Knight to d7, and Surya castled Queen side. B5, Swidla is starting the pawn storm on the Queen side, and Surya started the pawn storm on the King side h6, f4, and Svidla played h5. h5 is the recommended book move. Knight to f3, bishop to b7. This is not the most commonly played move. Most commonly played move is knight from g to f6 and knight to h6. So bishop to b7 is kind of a novelty. Knight to g5, knight to h6, e5, gaining the space on the board. Knight to b6, bishop to d3. Who is better, white or black? White has the lead in development and space advantage. Queen to c8. What is wrong with knight to g4? What do you think? What is wrong with that move? It looks good, attacks the bishop. Well, this is what is wrong. This may be very uncomfortable for black. So we have queen to c8. Rook from h to f1. Knight to d5. And Surya played knight from c to e4. Surya was resisting temptation to play e6. It looks tempting. Is it winning? It is only good if black takes the pawn, then bishop takes on g6. But probably black would play f5. And then knight to f7 doesn't work because knight takes knight, pawn takes, king takes looks okay for black. So after f5, probably Surya would capture the knight and then bishop takes knight and it is about equal. So we have knight from c to e4 and Svidla castled king side. It is white to move. What now? Surya played very interesting move. F5, pawn sacrifice. That is why the knight is on h6, to prevent this. Knight takes on e5. And now, exchange sacrifice. G takes on f5. Queen takes rook is not better because then knight takes on d6. This is discovered attack on the queen, and after say queen to g4, knight takes on b7. So in the game we have pawn takes on f5, attacking the knight. Knight to g3, attacking the pawn on f5, and the pawn on h5. 
it is black to move. We have reached the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for black. What did you find? Would you capture the bishop on e3? This is what Peter Svidla did. And this is not the strongest move. What is the strongest move? The strongest move is f4. Forking the bishop and the knight. Possible continuation is bishop to f5, attacking the queen. Then pawn takes bishop, attacking the queen, queen to e2, knight to f4, attacking the queen, queen takes on e3, knight takes on g2. This position is playable for black, isn't it? And what else can white play in this position? The most obvious move is bishop takes on f4. Let's have a look at that variation. If bishop takes on f4, then queen to g4, attacking the bishop, then knight to e2, knight takes bishop, queen takes on f4, perhaps bishop to h6, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen. And black is better. Have a good look at the position. Well, let's go back to our game. In the game we have knight takes on e3, queen takes knight, and Svidla played f4. The pawn arrived too late for Adina. Well, how should white continue? To take the pawn? To take the pawn is not the strongest move. Bishop to h7 check. King to h8. White to move. Would you capture the pawn on f4? Or would you play something else? Queen to d3 was the move played by Surya, and that is the move of the master. Queen takes pawn is not winning at all. Then black would play queen to g4 and black is even better. That is very interesting, isn't it? So we have queen to d3, d takes on e5, d takes on e5 f6 attacking the knight and another brilliant move by Surya bishop to g8 clearing h7 square for the queen and threatening checkmate blocking bishop to e6 attacking the queen queen to e8 bishop takes pawn on f5 and Svidla resigned. Unbelievable. Let's have a look at the few possible continuations. If pawn takes knight, for example, then bishop to e6 and how to prevent checkmate on h7. What else can black play? If rook to d8 is played, for example, then bishop to d7 is attacking the queen clearing the path for the queen to h7. Rook takes bishop, queen to h7, checkmate. Rook to f6 seems to offer the longest resistance. It's still losing. Let's have a look how. Bishop to d7, queen to g6, pawn takes rook, queen takes queen, and now in between move. 
Bishop takes on g7 check. King takes pawn. Perhaps knight to e6 check. King to h6. Rook takes queen. Pawn takes knight. Rook takes pawn. And white is a piece up. That is why in this position Peter Svidla resigned. What a game! And what a mighty bishop! That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.